shield the word shield you may be knowing about this a thing which encloses to provide the protection same proto shield is also providing a protection against any direct wear and tear by using the microprocessor board like arduino uno number of times it is designed to facilitate prototyping it allows for easy connections between a breadboard and an arduino shields are designed to sit on top of the arduino extending the functionality of the popular microprocessor platform it can be used with uno mega and other four variants of the arduino if you see the proto shell without the components soldered to it it looks like a normal pcb board with same digital power and analog pins that we find on arduino uno but also have an additional benefits like it is having power rails down the middle and sides totaling 35 volt pins and 31 gnd pins means to need a big breadboard which comes with power and ground buses is no more needed here if you want to learn about the breadboard there is a link given above on the video you can click on that and learn regarding the breadboard so these power rails you can see here clearly in the picture this facilitates to make a soldered circuit directly onto it as it consists 0.1 inch into 0.1 inch prototyping grid here you can see this a sample soldered components on the proto shield it is also having an ic pattern for adding dip ic's that is dual inline packing dip ic's up to 20 pins so here you can mount any dip as shown in the picture a reset button and an extra press button to use for any circuits also consist two 3 mm leds and two matching resistors for it so how can we make use of the extra push button and an led whose ground pins are readily connected but positive ends have been kept open to be used so here you can see this is the positive of led 1 this is the positive of led 2 remember leds are an output device while the press buttons are an input devices so we have to make use of them accordingly you can see the output or the out from the press button from this pin so so whenever we need we can make use of this two leds and press buttons which are readily available on this proto shield it is also having an icsp stacking header so we can stack any kind of a shield on top or use any avr programmer like this so this is an avr programmer this is needed when you want to upload any firmware to your onboard ics also it is having a surface mount chip area for up to 14 soic size parts so what is soic so here it is written so these socs are 30 to 50% less area compared to the dip ics as well as their thicknesses are 70% less than the normal dip ics that we saw earlier so here in this close picture you can see there are total pin 1 to 14 so there are total 14 pins and clearly you can see that 
which strip or which leg of an IC is connected to which grid point. So this is the grid point. These are connected. So you can see that how they are connected from 1 to 14 and these 1 to 14 are separately marked with a white color box so that you can identify them easily. It is also having and it is also compatible with tiny breadboards that you can see here. So tiny breadboards can be mounted on this very easily. If you don't want to solder any circuit and temporarily if you want to use so small breadboards can be used here. Also, you can use a large breadboard by removing the power buses from the 400 pin breadboard as shown in the picture. It is having two number of 0.1 microfarad capacitors on either side for extra power stability. So you can see that here they have written C1 and C2. So sometimes on the proto shield there will not be the capacitors. So if you want you can mount them of the value 0.1 microfarad. So these are the two points where you can mount this and this is not having any polarities like positive negative, you can mount them anyway. So this is how this proto shield is. The pins, points, connections and the precautions that we need to take while using the proto shield. We request you to please do subscribe our channel. Keep watching. Happy tinkering.